In 25 years of practice, probably the most common area where I see people carry tension are the traps. So I'm gonna show you the anatomy and then I'm gonna show you how the BioZoom can be a trap best friend. In the upper part of the back and the neck, what you'll see is that there's multiple different layers. With the BioZoom, what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on the attachments that start in the neck and that insert down into the upper back. With the setting, we are going to use the setting number five, the 60 megahertz. And we're gonna start with the yellow tip, which provides a little bit softer, more comfortable experience. Once the trigger points are out of the traps, then we will move to the blue device, the blue tip, to help get even deeper results. For the traps, what we're gonna remind you of is the three different steps. We're gonna do some slight movement just prior to treatment. Doing a slight stretch as you see here. And then start with the massage. With the traps, if we're trying to relieve pressure in the upper part of the traps, we're gonna start just above them at the base of the neck. And slowly move first downwards. Back up to the base, then sideways off the top of the collarbone. We'll slightly stretch the neck to the side. Using gentle, slightly circular motions. For traps, I encourage you to start even 30 to 60 seconds on the first couple of sessions before you would work it further. A lot of people carry a lot of trigger points in here, and if you overdo it early, you will feel it. So working both sides, going side to side, down the lower neck into the shoulder area. Once it starts to bounce, that's when you know you hit a bone. And then moving it up and down, just about eight to 10 inches below the base of the neck. Using different angles, uh, always to comfort. If used on yourself, the proper way to hold the device, hold it towards you. So, stretch. Switch sides. Again, limit to 30 to 60 seconds for the first couple sessions. After you get some relief, then you can go further, advance to the blue tip. But for many of you, this will be the favorite use for the BioZoom.